Nintendo recently updated the Switch firmware to version 18.0, which broke jailbreak for a lot of people. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to update your files so that you can continue on using jailbreak with your Nintendo Switch. Now, if you've never done this process before, check out the video in the link in the description. I'll show you how to do it entirely from start. This is just showing you how to update your files. Just keep in mind, if there's ever another firmware update in the future, don't update until you know that there's newer files for Atmosphere and Hikate before you go ahead and do so, or else you'll be in the same situation. So if you're like me and countless others, you updated your Switch by accident, and now you're looking at this error code here, or maybe another error code of the sorts. Regardless, you can't boot into your jailbroken Switch anymore. That's an easy fix. I'm gonna have the links for everything you need in the description down below, but we have Atmosphere version 1.7.0. It's pre-released as of right now. When you click on this, it may bring you to the latest release. Just make sure that you are on the version that's supported for 18.0. As of right now, it's a pre-release. When you watch this video, it may be the latest release. Just keep that in mind. I'll make sure to keep the links in the description up to date. But once you're here, just gonna scroll down until you see assets. You're gonna go click that, and it's gonna be the first thing here that you're gonna wanna go ahead and download. Atmosphere 1.7.0 pre-release. Like I said, it may be different for you. Just go ahead, click on that, and it's gonna start to download. Next, it's Hekate. If you're using Hekate, you're gonna wanna go ahead and update this as well. This is the latest release. This is not a pre-release. So go ahead, click on that, head on down to assets, and click on the first one, just like before. Click that, it's gonna start a download. Now, if you followed my other video and you use jits.site, uh, you're gonna go ahead and wanna most likely use this so you get the latest up-to-date SIG patches. When you're on this site, just kick, <laughs> click on cat girls. I don't know, this might be an insight, I don't know what's going on here. But click download AIO from this page here. If you download it from the other page, you're gonna get the older version. So go ahead and click on that. And that's gonna give you the latest version of the JITS AIO. Uh, once that's done, you can go ahead and close that out. Now, only use that if you've used JITS before. Now, what we want to do is go to where our downloads are. I'm going to take those three folders that we just downloaded. So I have the JITS if you're using JITS, Hikate if you're using Hikate, and Atmosphere, uh, which is going to be for everybody. You're going to need that updated version in order to use your jailbroken switch. Once you have all of those three files, you're going to go ahead and extract them. Just go one by one, extract all, right click and extract, right click and extract. And then once that's done, we could go ahead and get rid of these three zipped folders because they're no longer needed. And we're gonna get those other three folders that are unzipped. I'm gonna bring them here so you can see them a little bit better. And then from here, we're gonna wanna go ahead to our Nintendo Switch. We're gonna boot it off, make sure it's completely turned off and remove the SD card from our Switch, put it into our computer and we'll continue on from there. Now, if you have this issue here where you hold the power button, as you see with me in the atmosphere flashes, just go ahead, remove your SD card, remove power, and then go ahead and hold the power button down for 15 to 20 seconds. This is going to completely turn off your switch. And then from there, we can proceed on by putting the SD card into our computer. So once your SD card is in, it should look something sort of like this. Now you may have a little bit more, may have less. It all depends on what you have on your SD card and your jailbroken switch. Now, if you're using JITS or just insert the stuff, you're gonna open up that folder, take everything from there, put it on your SD card, and then replace the files in the destination. However, if you are not using JITS and you didn't follow my other video, then you're gonna follow the next steps from here. Also, if you're using Hikate, you're gonna to wanna to follow that step as well. But like I said, if you're not using JITS, you don't have to use that folder there. You are gonna to need to open up Atmosphere, however, and make sure that is the Atmosphere pre-release or the latest version. Copy all three folders onto the SD card and replace the files in the destination. Go ahead and close that out. And then we're gonna open up Hikate and make sure we go ahead and update the bootloader by opening up this folder, taking just the bootloader folder and dropping that into your SD card. You don't have to drop that .bin file. That's what we're gonna inject with our payload later on. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you take that, bring it to your desktop, close out these folders. You could close out your SD card you can take your SD card out of your, uh, your computer, put it into your switch, and then boot your switch into RCM mode. Now we need to go to our Tegra RCM GUI. You're gonna open that up and click the little folder icon, and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and find that new version of Hikate. As you see here, it's version 6.1.1. The version before that was 6.0.7, so just make sure you are using the latest version. Now, for some reason, I was getting an error here, and it was just because my SD card was not seated properly. So this is just a 
I guess a little tutorial. If you happen to run into this error here, you're gonna get some orange text when you press the power button. You're gonna get a little drop down menu. If that does happen, it most likely is because your SD card wasn't seated properly within your Nintendo Switch. So just make sure you do that. Take out the SD card, put it back in, make sure everything is good, boot back into RCM, and then just inject the payload again. So I did want to leave that in the video just in case someone else did come across that issue like I did. But once it's done, you go ahead and press inject the payload and you should boot into the newest version of Hikate. You can check this by the top left corner, say Hikate version 6.1.1 or whatever version is the latest at the time that you're viewing this video. Just go ahead and boot into your jailbreak like you normally would. I'm using Fusey and it should boot you right into your jailbroken switch. And that's pretty much it. It's just that simple. You could go ahead and pin this video, add it to a playlist for later on, save it if it ever does come up once again and you need to uh, just figure out how to update your Switch because you updated to the latest firmware or whatever the reason may be. If you happen to have any other questions or problems, you can always reach me on Discord. I have everything linked in the description or try to go ahead and leave a comment on this video. I'll get to you as quick as I possibly can. But there you go. My Switch is updated and it is running jailbreak once again. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it's helped you out, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.